Shit. What's up operators? If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you've seen my videos before, thanks for sticking around. We're doing a bit of science today. And as you can tell, I'm obviously qualified. So please don't try this at home, it can be dangerous. So I saw this meme on Tactical Pro Supply's Instagram page that showed a mousetrap that was made so that once it was set off, it could fire a 12 gauge shotgun shell. And I decided I had to try it. So that's what we're doing today. A little bit of myth busting. So it looks like in the meme, whoever modified the mousetrap welded a, a bolt to the hammer on the trap so that once it struck the primer on the shotgun shell, it would fire it. But I didn't have access to a welder, so I had to find my own way of constructing it. And I'll kind of walk through what I, what I did, how I made it right now. So what I did first was use a Dremel to cut out a half circle of the mousetrap and the bait tray so that a piece of PVC could fit there. And I needed to make sure it was relatively centered <laughs> so that the bolt would strike the primer. But the way I constructed it, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered because the bolt can be adjusted. Now I haven't tested it out with a shotgun shell yet, so time will tell if, if the spring has enough power to strike the primer hard enough to fire the round. But I'm hopeful. I think, I think it looks pretty promising. And after all, that's what this video is about, testing this myth. So it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. I've been known to over-engineer my projects, but in this case, I think that's a good thing because I think I need all the reinforcement I can get so that the trap doesn't just fall apart or explode if the, if the round goes off. So I used two zip ties on the hammer of the mouse trap, and I used uh, another rod from the from another mouse trap that I sacrificed for the project so that I can hold the a bolt in place and I used two washers I dremeled out a groove on each washer so that they fit onto the bars here and I used the dremel again to sharpen the point of the bolt so that it would strike the primer and give us the best chance of it firing off so it acts obviously like a firing pin I use double-sided tape, glue, and a large zip tie around the PVC pipe so that it holds it in place. And obviously the hardest part was coming up with the design, but now that I have a design, um, we'll see how it works today and I may make some modifications and do another video down the road. So I've attached a string to the bait tray and I'll just use a long dowel to set it off and we'll see how it works but I did make two so if one fails we'll have another chance so hopefully we get a successful test today I'll be testing a 12 gauge 8 shot shell through my Remington 870 Wingmaster as a control and we'll just do it from a couple of feet away just to give the trap its best chance of doing any damage to the cardboard that I'll be shooting at so I'm not confident it'll cause much damage, if any, because there's no barrel to give the pellets any velocity. So I, so I assume the powder is just gonna burn and the pellets will scatter, maybe make some dents in the cardboard, but I don't know if we'll get much penetration. So we'll test it exactly how it is, exactly how the meme shows, and we'll see how much damage we get. And if the traps survive, I'll add a longer piece of PVC to this one with some duct tape and see if it gives us a different a different result and see if the PVC, the longer PVC can act as a barrel. So as you can see, I've just got one of the traps screwed into one of my target stands and a piece of string tied onto the bait platform so that I can press it with a dowel. Because I tested it at home and the dowel seemed to get in the way and I didn't want it to cause the spring to lose any power because I think we need as much as we can get to strike the primer and give it the best chance of going off and I've got a piece of cardboard back here just stapled into another target stand and we'll fire it from relatively close but let's use a shotgun and see what kind of shot spread we get first and then we'll test the trap so I'm going to be firing a federal top gun 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch 8 shot shell from my Remington 870 Wingmaster and I'm going to be firing from about two feet away because that's the distance that I'm going to try to 
test the mousetrap at to give it the best chance of doing damage and hitting the target. So let's do it. So this is the result from the shotgun. Very small shot pattern as expected from two feet. And let's measure the diameter. So at the widest point of damage from the shotgun, we get just over two inches, about two and a, two and a quarter inches. So we'll test the mousetrap now. So the mousetrap is set up exactly two feet from the cardboard. I've got a bigger piece just in case the spread is larger than the smaller piece of cardboard. And I've got the shell here. Let's set it up. So it's obviously just like a regular mouse trap. Just place the shell in the PVC. I'm just gonna make sure that the bolt is lined up perfectly centered on the primer. And I'll be right back. So it's about as centered as I can get it. And we'll see if it works out. All right, it's set. Man, I'm pretty excited to see how this works out. All right, let's do it. Three, two, ah, nothing. Okay, no big deal. I think we just missed the primer. Hard to tell, but there's a mark or the silver ring. And it looks like that's where we hit. So I'll set it up again and try to adjust it. All right, so I'm happy I designed it the way I did because I needed to adjust where the bolt was completely. I couldn't just uh, bend it like I thought I could. I had to undo undo the nut and move it a little bit about a centimeter or two but let's try it again okay trap is set and we're ready to go test number two three two nothing we we struck primer that time too Unfortunately, this is what it looks like it's going to turn out to be. As I sort of anticipated, I think I'm going to have to make one out of out of a rat trap instead and revisit this, but let's try it a few more times. Maybe try the other trap and see if we can get it to go off. But as you can tell here, there just seems to not be enough force to strike the primer because there's hardly a dent in the primer. It's mostly just a little scratch, so I, don't, I just don't think it's going to get enough force, but let's keep trying. Alright, test number three, same trap. Let's just give it a few more goes right now. Yeah, see? It works, it stays together at least. We got that going for us, but it's just not enough force. Adjusted it a little bit, let's try again. Oh shit! It fired! No way! Holy shit, y'all, it worked! Let me take these stupid ass glasses off. It fucking worked, guys. I started to lose hope for a moment. There's pellets in the cardboard. Can you see it very well? I don't know if it's focused. But we've got pellets embedded in the cardboard. Nothing went through. We have no penetration, but the force did rip the cardboard. And the trap exploded. Here's a piece of the shotgun shell here. 
Oh, holy shit, y'all. I still am blown away that it worked. With the few tests we already we tried, it looked like it wasn't gonna work. It just looked like there wasn't enough force behind the mousetrap. But these are all the pieces I could find. Chunks of mousetrap, the bait tray, this large zip tie I used. With all the reinforcements I used, it still wasn't enough. So if you're trying to use this in your home alone setup, it looks like it might work. It won't hurt, it won't kill anyone, but it might blind them. With the, with the amount of penetration we got with the pellets, it might blind somebody. I don't know if it'll penetrate skin, but it might. Looks like we might have to test this, test this later against some organic material, maybe some fruit. So from furthest pellet to furthest pellet, the spread is about 10 inches. So we went, we went from, what was it, two and a quarter inches from the shotgun to 10 inches with the mouse trap. Again, the force is obviously a lot less, but it'll be painful, that's for sure. So I think it's only right, since we had a successful test with one, we have to try the other one with the longer piece of PVC attached. I just duct taped it here to the end of the trap. The longer piece of PVC is connected to a wood block here and pointed right at this piece of cardboard. So let's see how it works. Let's see how reliable this one is. Three, two, one. Nothing. And three, two, one. And three, two. It should work. Last one did. Here it goes. Man, this is fun. I'm just so glad these are working because I didn't want it to be a dull video where they didn't work properly. This trap held up a little better, but still blew it to pieces. The PVC, the long piece, is in good condition still. And we got a little more penetration. Looks like the pellets went all the way through. And we got a similar spread to the shotgun itself. Looks like it went through. Very cool. So that works as a barrel. It obviously falls apart <laughs> upon successful test, but it fucking works, dude. So I have to admit, this was fun. I'm pretty happy they went off. I'm pretty happy they were successful tests. It looks like myth confirmed. It does work. So Kevin from Home Alone, I got some ideas for you. Uh, may not be perfectly reliable, but I think that's just because they weren't the firing pins, the bolts weren't perfectly aligned in the center of the primer, and I think that's the key. Because after I adjusted them a few times, they both went off, so that must be what it was. There's enough force from the spring on the mousetrap. I wasn't sure if it would be, if it would be enough force. I thought we might have to use a rat trap, but they work, so that's super cool. Um, I'd like to know if you were right in your assumption, if you thought it would go off or how much damage you think it would cause to the, to the cardboard. Uh, that's about as much damage as I assumed it would be. The, the one where the, with the 10 inch spread. This one looks like it's about two inches as well, right around the same spread as the shotgun, but not as much damage, not as much force because the shotgun doesn't explode when it fires like the mousetrap does. But it does keep the shot tighter in this barrel, PVC barrel. So it looks like there may be some ways that can make the traps more reliable. If you have any ideas, put them in the comments. I think the only way to get around them exploding is to make them out of steel because the force has to go somewhere. I might try this again with some more organic material like fruits or vegetables or something just to see if we can compare it to something a little bit different than a piece of cardboard and see how much damage we get. But uh, I should reiterate, don't try this at home, it's dangerous. Just be careful, always wear ear protection and eye protection when you're shooting. And thanks for watching.